hope you're okay. This is so nerve wracking. Today we are doing one of my favorite kinds of videos, which is an unboxing. But this is not just any unboxing. This is a Tom Patterson unboxing. If you remember a long time ago, there was a video that I filmed where I was super duper excited to unbox some communal velvet spiders. I unboxed them and only two of them were alive. It makes no sense. Let this video show you that sometimes shit goes wrong and it got worse those velvet spiders ended up passing away within a few days and all of the ones that he kept for his own big communal also passed away so clearly there was something wrong with the sack it was nothing on his part or mine it just happened and they were pretty small well he told me recently that he was going to be getting some more in finally and that these were going to be bigger so less chance of an issue like that ever happening and finally the day has come for us to unbox them but if you'll notice i also have a ton of other enclosures behind me that's because he also also sent me a species of jumping spider that I've never kept before, but I see everybody keeping them and I'm so jealous. The genus is called Hylus and they are from Indonesia, I believe. They are the Indonesian giant jumping spider. He actually sent me pictures of the ones that he is sending today, although he did warn me that they are a little bit more sensitive, especially to like shipping and stuff, so I am a little nervous. I already made all the enclosures, I'm ready to go. You're here, which means we're ready to start unboxing this. Here we go. That New York newspaper, that's right. And a bunch of these, oh my goodness. This is that species of Ceratogyrus that has like a huge horn. I don't think they're in the hobby though. I think they were just recently discovered like a couple years ago, if I'm not mistaken, but super cool. I love these. We oh, are alive. Oh my God. Oh my God. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, no, no, no. You can't come out yet. Not yet. Not yet. Soon though. They all arrived and they are so cool. We'll get some close ups here soon, but let's keep going and let's keep our fingers crossed because this is where it might go a little south. Should be the female, male, female, male. Let's do these guys first. We'll use this enclosure first. I really love the lace that I put on these. These are really easy hides to just make and super cheap. I've got my mess over here, my hot glue gun and everything still. Let's hope that the spiders are okay. I'm so nervous. Oh man. You okay in here? I can't tell. Let's do this. I don't have a catch cup, so let's really hope this doesn't go south. Oh my God, that is crazy. And she's looking right at me. Oh my goodness, what a cute face. Oh wow. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my gosh, she just jumped right in the enclosure. She's huge. This is the female, so let's move on to the male. Just gotta keep going. Also, I really need a catch cup. And yes, I do intend on uh, trying to pair these. That will be really awesome. Um, I think he's okay in here. Let's, uh, let's see, is he moving? This is a nerve-wracking video. He's huge! Humongous! And like, I don't know if I can explain how, oh, I don't, I don't know if I can, I don't want him on my hand because I know as soon as he, he's on my hand, he's going to take off. But like, I don't know if I can explain how big these are. These guys are massive, like, oh my God. 
He is fancy. Look at how handsome he is. <laughs> oh, there he goes. <laughs> All right, let's do the next female. There are animals being so loud outside today, so if you can hear that, I apologize. Another situation where I really just can't tell. Oh, I hope you're okay. This is so nerve wracking. Holy crap, this is the biggest jumping spider I feel like I've ever seen. Whoa, oh my God. Do you see how massive these are? Like, I just don't know if it's translating to camera. No wonder Tom was so excited about getting these. Like, not only are they like huge, they are just beautiful too. Like. Look at that coloring, it's just so different than the jumping spiders here. The only thing you gotta watch out for is like once they wanna move, they just certainly take off. That is like a big, big girl, oh my God. I'm impressed. Like, can you see how big they are? All right, she's making me nervous, so let's go ahead and try to see if she wants to go in her new enclosure. There she is. <laughs> She's so big. Look how, oh my God. <laughs> They're so big. Like, look, she takes up the whole leaf. Like, what the heck? Okay, well that means we just have one more high list, which is another male. We just have a tree house. Um, I think I see movement. Could be wrong. Oh my God, this guy is insane. He looks like a, he looks like a villain. What have you done in your life? Like, that's what I wanna know. Look at him, oh my God. All right, this is definitely the scariest jumping spider I've ever seen. Like he's still cute, but he also looks like he's gonna betray Mufasa or something. Eric, what's the bad guy in Lion King? Yeah, I think this is this is definitely Scar. And Mufasa is the good one, right? Oh, but those eyes are so precious. Go. Oh! <laughs> wow. The way he moves is also like incredibly interesting. That is just unlike anything I've seen. Okay, so let's move on to these velvet spiders, shall we? We have the new treehouse switch. If you guys remember my last video, I think it was, uh, I talked about these, they are awesome. And look at what this canopy does. It gives it like this extension, so. I can fit more in there. Tom told me the more space I give these velvet spiders, the more they'll web up. So I was like, okay, that sounds good to me. I will use this. Uh, the vent holes are certainly small enough. I tried to give them so much to web to. I think this is gonna be so interesting. And I will show you guys what this enclosure looks like at the end of the video in like a couple days. Because from what he told me, they're gonna web up and it's gonna be pretty freaking cool. Kinda all like littered throughout this. Um, I don't have tongs, so hopefully everybody's friendly. Look at that little face. Do you see that? Oh my gosh. There's another, there's another. Look at that booty. Oh, and another cute little face right in here. These are so cool. I think this is my favorite unboxing of the year, like so far. <laughs> I don't even know how to get them from point A to point B. Oh no, they like go inside of it now. Oh. How am I gonna do this? This is so confusing. Oh my God. Maybe it'll help if I just get them all out of this thing, <sighs> which is gonna be some work. Cool, so we got like one in there. Um, okay. Please hold.
So as promised, it's been a couple days since I filmed the video and the velvet spiders have webbed up. This is what the enclosure looks like, and as you can see, they did lots of webbing here in this corner. It looks awesome. And they've got some like spooky, cool weaving going on as well. Like some of it's just like a big mess, but other of it looks more intentionally placed. I think about like four or five have been hanging up out here, and then like one or two wander around. But so far, they've been a lot of fun. I did put a couple crickets in here, and the crickets are gone, so I can only guess that they ate them. I do not see them move or do anything during the daytime. All of the webbing and everything happens at night so that is how I've caught them out a couple times thank you so much again Tom for sending all of these spiders I love jumping spiders I love velvet spiders if you want to check out Tom's website it's hardcorearachnids.com anyway like this video if you enjoyed subscribe if you're not and you want to be don't forget I made a scream to use probably way too much it's at tarantula.cat you can go follow me there I also have a patreon podcast and a teespring and it's all linked down below I will see you guys soon let's get into the patreon pet pick